Ripping my heart was so easy, so easy. So now for the round chain here, you're going to get the amount of chain that you're going to need um, to do this. Um, make sure you measure, well, you don't have to get an exact, but just kind of put and look in a mirror and see how much you're going to need. And once you get the amount, um, put foil to mark where you're going to put it. Um, the thing is you're not going to take it apart and put each individually. You're actually going to put all four of them in there together. Um, on a single chain and I for this I definitely do recommend using foil because then you have an idea of the spacing but like I said for the oval you can put clay straight on so anyways you're gonna once you put the foil the amount that you're gonna need um, I'd recommend measuring so then you can try to get each of the same although I noticed the two here in the middle are smaller are a little smaller than the ones here on the sides. So, when you do, you put the foil, the amount you're gonna need, and then you put the clay for around here. And then once you get the right amount of clay, you're gonna, you're, there's no gonna be no special carving designs here, by the way. And then, for this rim here, you're gonna make like a little snake, and then coil it around here. And then, please, make sure to smooth everything out. I didn't know this actually. Um, see these little lines here? With that being there, that gives it room for it to break. And I didn't know that, and if I had, I would have smoothed it out. So make sure to smooth out here. And also kind of try to smooth out here, but make sure there's a defining line there. Basically rinse and repeat for all of them. And also don't attach these yet. Um, you're first gonna then cook it in the oven and once you're done you're going to hook put this on the hook here and then get your big pliers and close it and I noticed sometimes with these on one side it may not go but the thing is if you pull it back and then try to get very carefully to the side it will snap in place the thing is if you well, not snap in place, but it'll get, it will be like closed and it, there's no way of it getting out. Yeah, once you do it for both sides, um, make sure you put the gloss here to make it shiny, of course. And then, all you have to do left is attach to your cloak. So, um, also after a while of like having it leave there, I mean, left there. I don't know if you can see it here on the camera, I don't think you will be able to, but there are some teeth mark from it, so it's always there as like a reminder for you to put it there. And also, these are very hard to open, which is good, and then that's kind of bad, it kind of makes it harder to put on. Then, I always put it kind of below the where the chain comes out, I put it a little below because then it looks a little nicer because the thing is when the the cloak kind of falls on your chest it's going to be like this so then it, yeah so then it makes sense and then ooh, careful for it to not get tangled you're going to do the same on the other side like so and this side's sticking up but that's okay um <laughs> and then voila you have a completed organization chain all right, so um, that should be it for the tutorial. Um, if you make it, um, please post a video response or send me a picture on DeviantArt. Um, however, you can send me however. And if you would like me to make you one, please private message me on YouTube or send me a note on DeviantArt. Please ask questions. There is no such thing as a stupid question, only stupid people. And if I get enough questions, I will make a Q&A video and please comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!